Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Sohan and today I'm here to talk to you guys about a product by Aloe Up. It is their SPF 20 facial moisturizing lotion. If you're gonna take one thing away from this video, it is to know the importance of sunscreen or using an SPF product because if you're gonna use one product, I would recommend the SPF product because skin damage is a real thing. It's what causes most of our skin issues, particularly on the face. And so, yeah, protect your face. Use a sunscreen. I be asking God, can you really take this pain away? Niggas always asking everything, okay? I be lying in me face, saying everything straight. Deep down the side, I'm eternal. All right, guys, hopping right into it. As you can tell, I've used quite a bit of this product. It's pretty much almost done. It is a aloe based, non greasy, paraben free, and also water resistant up to 80 minutes. This is SPF 20. Most dermatologists recommend SPF 30, but honestly, between 20 and 30, it doesn't matter. With both of them, you're going to have to re reapply it throughout the day for it to be really effective. If I were you, I wouldn't really care about if it was SPF 20 or 30, but more so if you actually enjoy using that product and can stay consistent to actually using it every single day. So something to note is that this product is broad spectrum, meaning that it will protect you from both types of rays, both UVA and UVB. When you take a look at the active ingredients, you're gonna be happy to know that it is reef safe so that is definitely a positive. This product is also infused with aloe vera gel, cocoa butter, tea tree oil, and vitamin E, all of which are great essential oils for your face and skin. So my favorite part of this product is the scent. I know I should be worrying about other things, but the scent of this product is unreal. It smells like you're on vacation at the beach and I absolutely love it. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like sweet and Unreal, I don't even know. Now in terms of performance, it's not matte, but it's not shiny. I have it on my face right now. You can see some type of glowing, but it's very airy, very soft to the touch. And when you put it on your face, it absorbs really nicely. But if you're someone that's looking for a truly matte finish, then this is definitely not a product for you. It comes out in like a white consistency and I haven't noticed any type of white cast when using it. So that's definitely a positive for me. Because I'm a darker complexion, sunscreens like this that are white tend to leave a white cast. But with this product, I haven't really noticed that. This product comes in four fluid ounces. So if you're comparing it to other brands that make facial sunscreens, you'll notice that they usually range between 1.7 ounce all the way up to about two, two and a half ounce. So this is definitely a bigger container. All in all, I really like this product. It smells fantastic. It's by far the best smelling sunscreen product that I've ever used. In terms of performance, it does leave a little bit of shine, but it's a healthy shining glow. If that's not for you, then you definitely want to stay away from this product, especially if you're looking for a matte product. For me, this product is done perfectly fine. I'm just super picky. I really like matte products and I'm still in the search for finding that perfect SPF product that I can use as my daily facial lotion and sun protector. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're brand new, smash the subscribe button. If you have any questions or concerns, leave it in the comment section below. But I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.